In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can take a single object and turn it into a single pattern tile that can be repeated infinitely, as you can see that I've done here on my screen using Procreate. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go back to the gallery and I'm going to open up a new document and I want to choose square here. When we create our pattern tile, we want to make sure we are creating a square document to use. So let me pinch to zoom out a little bit here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import my graphic onto the, conv onto the uh, canvas here. You can use whatever graphic you'd like, whether it be a drawing or a logo or an icon or whatever else. I'm just going to come up here to the wrench icon and I'm going to go to add and I'm looking for insert a file. So I'm just going to insert this file right here, this little avocado graphic that I have. And what I'm going to do is down here in these settings with the selection tool enabled, we want to make sure we have uniform selected right here. And then over here, snapping, we want to have snapping enabled like this. Okay, keep magnetics turned off, but we want snapping turned on. And what we want to do is let me first scale this down a little bit. I want to take this graphic and put it directly in the center of the page right here. And if you notice, these yellow guides or these orange guides on the screen are telling you exactly when it is placed directly on the center of the canvas. So right there, just like that is good. And what I want to do is I want to now make copies. I want to make four copies of this graphic and place each at all of the corners of the, of the uh, page here. And I want to make sure the center of the graphic is placed directly over the corner. So let me show you how this can be done. I'm going to come up here to my layers menu. I'm going to slide this to the left and I'm going to tap on duplicate. So we have a duplicate of that layer right there. I'll come back up here to my selection tool and I'm just going to swipe and drag up here until we get those yellow guides in the top left corner over there. I want to make sure that the center of this object is snapping directly to the top left corner, just like that. When you see that yellow cross right there in the top left corner, that's how you know you've placed it directly over the center. So now I want to repeat that with all of the other corners. So let me come back over here. Let me make a duplicate of this layer again. Close out of that. Grab the selection tool. Place this over here like that and do the same thing on the bottom. Take this, duplicate that. Take this one, place it over here. We want to make sure we see those orange guides vertically and horizontally. We want to see that cross pattern to make sure to ensure that it's directly over the center like that. Otherwise, you're not going to get that seamless effect when you use this as a pattern tile. Let me make one more duplicate of this over here. Let me move this over here like that. And looking good. Okay, so the final step here, I just want to change the background color because as of right now, it's white. I'm going to come over here to the layers menu. I'm going to tap on background color. And I'm going to choose a new color for this, maybe something like purple or pink or something like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, so what we have here is this square graphic can be used. It can be duplicated and stacked next to each other infinitely to create a repeating pattern tile. Let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to come up here to the wrench icon where it says share. I'm going to tap on share. And from this list, I want to from this list, I want to choose PNG. I'm going to tap on PNG. Okay, so I just saved that to my files. What I'm going to do now is just to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to come over here to Affinity Designer just to give you a, a working demonstration of how this pattern can work. I have this rectangle here on my screen. I'm just going to fill this in with the pattern. I'm going to choose Bitmap from the list over here using the Fill tool. And it's going to ask me which file I want to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose the pattern title that I just created. And I'm going to scale this down. And as you can see, we now have this infinitely repeating pattern here that we created using this single object. Now this can be used for more than just Affinity Designer here. You could take this pattern and upload it to a website and use it as a background. And as long as that image repeats, it will be an infinite pattern as you can see here as I've done here with this design like that. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating infinitely repeating pattern tiles from a single object using Procreate for the iPad. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.